Um, so I'll use those to kind of give you an overview about uh, the system that Jan and I play. We're using uh, what's essentially a Polish club. Um, so our one club opening is either 12 to 14 balanced, uh, 16 or more high card points with primary clubs, um, or most 18 point hands. Um, so one of a major opening is limited, um, although our one diamond opening is uh, akin to a standard American one diamond. So it won't be game forcing with diamonds, but it could be quite strong. And uh, we use a bunch of transfers and switches and stuff like that, but um, otherwise um, it, it should be pretty straightforward to follow. Um, our two club opening bid is kind of precision style. Um, that's gonna be a minimum opening bid with long clubs. Um, our two diamond opening is also pretty similar to precision. So if, uh, Short diamonds, not particularly strong. Uh, there's slight variations because from precision because of some different hands that are difficult for us systemically, but uh, should be pretty straightforward uh, for you all to kind of follow. Strong no trump. Um, our carding is upside down count and attitude. And uh, we need third and fifth best against suit contracts and fourth best against no trump. Okay. Um, okay. So just before we start, um, sorry, can I say um, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, can, can I ask you, please, can you keep your microphones muted unless you want to talk? Um, feel free to ask Chris questions. I'm sure you'd be delighted to try to answer them at the same time as thinking. Um, but um, uh, it, it, um, but anyway, we want to try to try to avoid any background noise. So please stay muted. And if I notice someone isn't muted and there's noise coming from it, then I, I may mute you myself. So please don't take that personally. Okay. Uh, uh, that's all I have to say. So, Chris, over to you. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're waiting for Boya. Um, for those who aren't familiar with the uh, opponents, uh, we're playing against uh, what's arguably uh, the top Norwegian pair in the world and um, certainly on the short list for one of the best pairs in the world, Boy of Rogland and Espen Linkvist. Um, they've been, uh, had a really successful um, last three or four years in bridge uh, and we're all now teammates um, at the ACBL, Na ACBL Nationals, so uh, I'm hoping that they're Successful streak continues. Uh, the opponents are playing transfer responses to one club, but otherwise a pretty standard base system. So, um, nothing really to do here. Uh, Imps is a, a game of solid bidders for the most part. Uh, I might have uh, stuck in a uh, match point to club overcall if, uh, if we were playing match points here. Um, ooh, that's interesting. Nice, nice uh, choice for partner. Here, I'm not going to sell out to two hearts, um, non-vulnerable with short hearts and nearly uh, an opening hand. Um, of course, I could pay a huge penalty in two spades doubles or something like that, but usually when the opponents um, pass out two hearts, um, they don't have a ton of high cards. Usually with a bunch of high cards and a good bet, they would have been trying for game. So I'm relying on my partner for something. And, um, you know, perhaps here I was able to um, just push them a level too high. Hmm, interesting. So uh, a 15-point dummy. I guess Boya um, downgraded 
uh, his hand. Uh, I, I don't think they're doing any sort of weak no trumps. Ask him. The reason that I care about what the dummy showed, even though I'm looking at the dummy, is um, it'll give me a little more sense of what Espen might have as the declarer. Now, this is all a little strange because where is the spade suit here? Right, my partner must have four spades. The, the, the missing spades must be four whore. So I guess he has ace fifth of clubs and four little spades or something like that. Right, otherwise he would have just been two spades over the takeout double. So that means the declarer is probably four, five, four, zero, if I had to guess. And I'm not really liking our chances too much. Maybe my partner has a singleton diamond on her. Hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, this is bad news. So there's no rush to switch to diamonds. My partner's marked with a singleton. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and exit. I don't want to play a club because that'll blow up a club trick. I'm just going to exit passively and kind of see what happens. So now I'm going to pitch a club, and Jan knows my exact clubs. So if my club has any meaning to him, it's going to be suit preference. Right, he doesn't need my attitude or count in the club suit. And we tend to be pretty careful with these spots. So now Jan's going to be thinking, okay, well, Chris didn't play his lowest club, the three, which he would have done if he was just screaming for a diamond switch. He probably has some stuff in diamonds, but he's not sure what he wants. So it looks like Jan probably has 10, 9, 4 for spades, and he's just also exiting passively, so we're kind of waiting for Declarer to make his own diamond play. So Declarer has queen fourth, queen fifth, uh, Maybe feels like from all the time, queen 10 fourth of diamonds, if I were a guessing man, but we'll find out. Is that Jack coming? No. Interesting. Oh. This was not our not our best defense to return the tennis base there. Oh, wow. He responded up the line with 5-5. Five, five. Well, that's why neither of us figured out what was happening. Well, that was an interesting choice. I feel like that must have been a typo. Feels just. Uh, I played in an individual last summer. My partner responded one heart with five five in the majors. So there did can, not. There there can be some hands where responding a heart five five in the majors is reasonable. Um, so you might worry with five five in the majors that your partner is going to rebid two clubs in the next round. So if you make the normal response with one spade, one diamond, one spade, two clubs, now two hearts is an artificial game force. Uh, but this particular hand, um, 
that just doesn't really make much sense to me because um, the south hand has an easy uh, preference to two diamond. Um, um, Chris, do you think you could make it so we could see the previous hand? Oh, thank you. It's well done. 15 to 17, no Trump, nothing for me to think about here. change your grid or your display to grid view on zoom you'll be able to see the last hand i can see it oh you're talking to me or to spectators uh to whoever was asking yeah I, I just i just changed over um as andy was asking about it ah okay so yeah it does look we can see from the chat it looks like it was in fact a typo So what is going on here? Um, so boy is balanced with two hearts and has been a bit too no. That makes me think that two hearts is pro. Oh, it's interesting. So two hearts is natural and two no. So that's interesting. I guess two no must be a game try in hearts. All right. Well, this is a shocking amount of bidding for the opponents um, given what I've got. But. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so we need ace from ace king. And what is going to be my plan here? Well, if I discourage, I'm suggesting the partnerships to a club. That's the logical switch. Um, am I really worried about Declare getting pitches on the spades? I think I am. Um, it seems like if Declare is, for instance, uh, Three, six, two, two. If we don't get the clubs going eventually, um, uh, we might uh, might lose the trick. It might go away on the fourth spade. But on the other hand, I do need five tricks in order to defeat the hand, which means that my partner is going to need. Um, a bunch of entries in order to beat it. Uh, so I think I'm going to actually go ahead and encourage Diamond upside down. Whoop, well, didn't really matter here. He's going to know what's going on. On the theory that a club switch can always come later and I'll have a chance to suit preference for clubs. But maybe we can tap Declare out. Who knows what's exactly going on. I was thinking Declare might have been on a five card suit, but now I'm not worried about that. Um, seems like well, what is declare shape we're both giving soup reference here in the trumps between clubs and spades we already know what's going on in diamond um, i can't quite read his seven but i'm just quite sure he can read my deuce um and uh, so i'm trying to think what what declare shape is he didn't show majors but if he was 6-4 with six hearts and four clubs, it seems like he'd bid three clubs over 2 now instead of rebidding a six-card heart suit. Does he have seven hearts? Well, that would give Jan um, possible, but usually if your partner tries for game and you overcall on a seven-card suit, um, you're going to bid a game, plus it looks like it would have to be a good seven-card suit the way things are going. So I think the Clara actually might have four-card spades and six card hearts and chose not to show majors. Maybe a six good hearts, king empty fourth of spades and queen 10, nine, six of the hearts. 
and probably nothing else. And Jan's six of spades looks high, so that would kind of go well with it, you know, upside down count. Yeah. Uh, odd number of spades. I, I think declaring hand the way it's going, obviously Jan's marked with the ace of hearts because Declare isn't banging them out. I think he's got king fourth, queen to nine six, yada yada. Uh, I'm going to continue to tap. The declare a 6-4. Um, there's no pitches coming anywhere, so we might as well try to tap him out. Again, I return my lowest dime in there, so Jan's going to think that suit preference. So he should have a reasonable idea of what's going on by this point. Continuing to play my lowest card at all the opportunities, just to, in case he... So general principles, show him I really like clubs. So now we've tapped him three times and he's drawn three rounds of trumps. So my, I'm gonna problem, my, my uh, yeah, okay. That's exactly what I was expecting, so he, I'm gonna get the last two. So notice the tap, it was right not for us not to switch to clubs, we just had to tap Declare out, both to avoid breaking the clubs and to kind of, you know, get my winner set up here so that when I came in with the king of clubs, uh, and have the, the extra diamond one. All right. What did you think of um, Sal's action on the previous board, like the invitation? Yeah, um, it's interesting. So uh, if partner is, is showing a six card suit, I think vulnerable at imps, of course, partner could be balancing very light and you could be driving yourself minus uh, for no reason, you know, by, by um, inviting. But the flip side is you don't really need that much for game, right? If partner has ace, queen, six of hearts and the king of spades, um, that's a pretty reasonable vulnerable game just by itself. Um, or ace, queen, six of hearts, the king of clubs, for that matter. Um, so, and if you add a little bit more, um, it'd be a cold game. So maybe the risk reward favors um, bidding on. I'm not totally, you know, convinced either way. All right. So here we are. Um, typical competitive situation in the high level game. A lot of preempting. Um, so the way Jan and I play. Um, my double of four hearts here would would show what we call convertible values, meaning that I have defense against four hearts. So if he just has nothing special, he can pass out four hearts doubles and we expect to be fine. Um, but also a decent dummy if he's highly distributional and wants to bid. So my hand doesn't have that because I, my king of hearts is basically worthless um, as a, an offensive card. So I, even though I sort of have a hand for a penalty double in a way, I just have to pass and hope for the best. And here we are. That's a very nervous, uh, nervous dummy for me. Uh, certainly hoping to see um, the ace of hearts in the dummy or uh, and or for my partner to have some more high card points but it looks like if my partner is looks like my partner is four zero four five one way or the other probably um so what can i do here it's going to be a little tricky so the worry is that he's going to rough a bunch of clubs in dummy. I'm pretty sure he has partner has three, the declare has three spades to go with his six hearts. Um, so there's not really anything, really, really nothing I can do here. Um, I can't get enough rounds of trumps in. 
So I, I'm just, it looks like I'm going minus 590, but just in case there's something totally strange going on, I'm just going to encourage the diamond and see what happens. Now, now it looks like from the you know from from what I've seen that um, we might have had a down one save in five of the minor, but on these kind of auctions, um, we're generally not going to bid to the five level without good shape. We're just going to sort of hope for the best. All right, so that's that's not good news. Um, we see that declare is now. Um, almost certainly um, got three plus clubs. In which case, He's basically got 10 tricks, unless he does something really strange, like play a heart to the ace. And Jan did double twice with what looks like not a ton of high cards. I'm going to try to That is that. So I'm just waiting for Declare to, you know, claim whatever number of tricks he has. There's nothing I can do about it. Looks like my partner has a fifth spade. Yeah, that's very bad news. The players may be five. I think Jan was just a little too pushy here. Um, oh, and yeah, and I mean, I would have overcalled three spades the first time with his hand instead of making a takeout double, but uh, just don't really think we can double twice there with that hand because the partner is so likely to have a random balance hand where he's planning to pass. It's just, just, just a little too expensive. So had I bid, we would have paid 500 and five diamonds doubled. South would certainly uh, happily double five diamonds with uh, the ace, king of spades to lead and the king of clubs favorably placed. Now his partner would, um, or sorry, 200. Uh, get the ace, king of spades and the king of clubs. So, you know, it was in a way right for us to bid, but the problem is at this level, you can't, you can't get all the um, positions right. Um, you just have to uh, aim for the obvious stuff. Um, so here, you know, I'm not going to be going looking for the five level with a bit random balance hand. And he knows that they have to just sell out to four. Um, all right. So this is a close decision. The opponents have opened um, a multi, um, which clearly now is weak hearts since Jan's overcalled two spades natural. And so the question is, given that my queen of hearts is pretty much worthless, is my hand worth a raise? And so I'm going to give my partner just a simple hand like, 
ace king six of the spades singleton ace third and three little like a, a nice minimum and it looks like obviously that hand i'll probably make three spades so i'm going to raise the three spades here um this is not i could cubid with a stronger raise so this is just a kind of a courtesy raise because my partner obviously can have a lot more than that 11 point hand um, to overcall so i think i need to i have just barely enough to kind of where he rates to make it if he has a minimum and so keeping game chances alive if he wants to continue Thinks and passes. I think he has 14 points. Oh, there you go. He has 14 points. All right. Good five spades. So it's a good news, bad news kind of situation. Bad news, good news. The bad news is the opponent has a heart void. The good news is they're they're on lead. Um, so this actually looks like it may play well for us here assuming that the eight of diamonds is an upside down signal Jan's inquiring uh, if that's true uh partner should be able to kind of rough a diamond and dummy throw a heart away on the ace of clubs and kind of give them a heart in the fullness of time uh, so he's actually um, in some chance of taking ten tricks um, although nine looks more likely. Whoops. So again, bad news, good news here, right? Um, so Jan's got to be worried about a, a cross rough here. So I think it's a little bit of an annoying position because what he'd sort of like to do is rough with the queen of spades and then take his pitch. But the problem is the queen of spades is his entry so i kind of think he's going to rush this with the ten of spades he's just going to hope that the preemptor doesn't have the jack of spades so if the ten of spades rough lives he can now cross to the king of clubs cross back to the queen of spades enjoy his discard draw trumps and lose a heart at the end yeah Looks like it would be, well, you could rough with the queen of spades, play a club to the king, and then rough a diamond with the 10. I mean, rough the good diamond with the 10. Yeah, it seems like that's just trying, you know, you're just like creating an extra, you're going to get over rough either way, um, and you're creating a promo promotion again. You know, it certainly could be the case that South has jack nine fourth of spades or something like that promoting a trump trick against yourself needlessly yeah all right so we got lucky now i'm hoping to get another sort of lucky which is i, I i'm i'm now hoping for uh four one trumps as, as it happens we're gonna make 10 tricks if the trumps are three two barring something unusual in clubs. But they could have beaten 4-1 by leading the king the diamond, couldn't they? Sorry? Even if, regardless of the layout, they could have beaten 4 by under leading the diamond. Trick 2. Right, but that, that seems like an impossible play. Okay. I mean, if your partner played an upside down 8, it would be it varies. They really don't know that much about the deal. They don't know if their partner has the ace of hearts. It would be very specific. All right. Made for. Grossly underbid. Obviously, of course, I'm being facetious. It, the play went very well with them. The defense kind of naturally, but unfortunately, crashing their diamonds. I actually think, Andy, if they had simply made a passive switch, um, still might have been 
tricky to time out um, to make it four. Um, like they, they just switched to um, uh, club for it. Shows just like transfer responses. Alert alert. They don't seem to have quite got the hang of BBO alerts yet. Before it send me a system. Good catch, Chris. Oh, there we go. All right, so I can bid. One heart for takeout. Showing diamonds and spades. I guess that's probably a support double. Um, one point that this brings up is uh, I do try to have an idea of you know, the methods of uh, other top pairs uh, just because as they're bidding along, you want to be able to kind of follow what's happening. Uh, not for this reason, because this will obviously get alerted at the table, but um, if we know something about their overall approach is a lot easier to figure out what they may have on some auction where their hands aren't explicitly defined but there may well be uh, useful um, inferences to be deduced. All right well I deduce here that my partner has clubs and hearts so I'm just going to leave it trump. I have diamonds and spades pretty well held. Looks to me like, again, probably partner doesn't have four spades, right? Because partner must have some values. We have a 12 count and the opponents aren't in game or haven't even invited it. Um, so he's got some points, therefore not four spades. He could be some points in spades, he would compete. I think Declare has five hearts, right? Should have five hearts because competed to the two level with a, with a support double to go with four spades and probably if I was, if I was a betting man, I would bet three one one diamond and three clubs, if only because I can see nine diamonds between our two hands. Um, I, uh, but it obviously could be any distribution. That um, yeah, obviously, if declare is a singleton diamond, that's not very good for us. But there's nothing I can do about that. So I'll just focus on the main point, which is trying to. Um, Stop the refs and dummy. It's an interesting spot because Declare would kind of like to use dummies clubs for tricks, but um, we can perhaps hold up the clubs now that Declare is killing the, uh, the late round entry. So I think that that 10 of Diamond, 10 of spades is soup reference for diamonds. So I'm going to go for the under lead here. Let Jan play some more trumps. That seems. Why this, Chris, why the second spade instead of the first spade? Well, I know how many spades he has, and he, at a high level, he should know that I know. In other words, he knows that the spades are 4-4 four, four between our hands when he has three, and he should know that I know. But just in practice, people don't get that deep into the hand. So his first spade is probably going to be count, um, and the second spade is super. 
this is one place where computers will definitely have an edge over people um, once they become good at bridge, right? They'll, they'll get many layers deep initially. Um, in, 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 if, the, if the humans are ethical, it's just very hard to get that deep into signals because it's, it's not really appropriate to be huddling and fumbling over signals. You'll notice that at this table, um, when people are following to a suit, they just always follow. Um, because the problem is if you take time over what to follow with, that itself conveys so much information. Just that you're not, you have choices might convey that you don't know exactly what the signal means, et cetera. Yeah. But anyway, here I, I do think John probably has six, ten, nine of spades. Otherwise, he probably wouldn't have squandered the ten, but, but who knows? Or five, ten, nine. But, you know, he, he probably did, did have, if he'd had ten X there, hopefully he would have kept the ten for later. So I don't get yeah, nothing fast or something. Um, so there's also that, that piece of it. He might have needed to play his low spade and keep the ten, nine. So declare probably has a great idea of the shapes now. Um, when I let it switch to a diamond and pitch the diamond, probably feels like I have a five card diamond suit. Um, I can't really afford to pitch a club. So, I mean, maybe I could do that in a really deep, deep play, but um, straightforward bridge, I can't really afford to pitch a club here. So um, we're just gonna see how, how well he can manage it. He may be confused about, I probably need my partner to have the club ace here, and he may be confused about the location of the aces. He might think my partner is ace king of diamonds, and I have the ace of clubs. He's trying to figure out whether he can probably bring some sort of ending against me. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna false card here just in case. I'd rather he tried to rough a diamond now and try to rough out my ace. didn't go well. Now he has no option but to basically make a, um, a good play in clubs. And I got a little squeezed here. And now, of course, my partner has no winners to get to me. I guess I could have thrown the ace of diamonds away and made it a little tougher. Although the way it went, it was pretty obvious at that point. Um, I think what was going on.
So normally when Jan and I Normally, when Jan and I open a minor, we switch our one of a major responses. Um, here, he's a past hand, so we don't do that by past hand. So we're basically just in a standard American auction at this point. So that's the fourth suit. Uh, and now with the double, um, without that, I was going to have to bid two dollars Trump. Now I think I'm just going to pass it around to partner to see what he wants to do. My hand is not really very good, opposite of past hand. Um, so Jan is now showing, he's showing like, an 11 point hand with clubs or maybe you know, some, some sort of really maximum past hand. That's the way we play. Um, so I have to decide whether I want to take a shot at three now. So let's, or five clubs, I guess I have to think about it. So let's say he's got two aces. So he's got ace, jack, fifth, the clubs, and the ace, jack, fourth of spades, something like that. Uh, that'd be a you know, type of hand. Um, that's a pretty reasonable game, because if I can get a heart trick, which I rate to get after the double, um, I have five clubs, a diamond is six, the heart is seven, and maybe a spade finesse for nine. There. Vulnerable, I'm going to take a shot. This is, if I was playing match points or even non vulnerable items, I'd probably pass here. But it just seems like there's just too much chance that this is going to be a good contract. Could be five clubs. Um, Wow. Interesting. So I'm guessing it's like four, six or something. Got a lot, you know, a lot more clubs than spades. I couldn't hear all that. So it sounds like he's got like six, six, five or something like that. My hand's really good now. All right. This could be a six clubs hand. With partner six five one one or something. It's just too hard. Maybe he's void of diamonds with two losing hearts. Now, one thing here, I mean, Jan was aware that I didn't bid two no trump over the double. So I think he's probably expecting me to have only one heart stopper.
interesting. All right, well, it looks to me like Boya has the heart ace, right? Why didn't he lead a heart otherwise? Um, so the question is, do I have a completely safe line here? Um, and um, let's see here. So if I, if the trumps are 2-2, two, two, I certainly can claim. If they're, I don't know, that's not going to work either. I take that back. All right. I have to do some, some figuring here. Seven, three, two, eight. So let's see if I can try to rough out the spades. Spade to the ace, spade rough, rough something to the dummy, spade rough. No, that's not, it's not gonna work. I think I may have to go for a cross rough. I'm not gonna have to be able to establish these spades, but I think, I think I'm gonna go for the cross rough. I think that's gonna be my plan here. I just miscounted my tricks here. I was too busy talking, I'm not busy counting. <sighs> well, at least the spade finesse was off. This is one of the, uh, the perils, I would say, of um, doing the running commentary. Somehow I thought this was 11 tricks. But, uh, the only line to make would have been um, running the Queen of Spades early on. So that's a little bit of a embarrassing line of play. Hopefully my teammates are um, understanding. It's a little hard to do the running commentary and uh, plan the play. All right. Ooh, that was the most unexpected. Well, we're not going to make it. Clubs are offside, so that from the carding, it looks like to me. Uh, the opponent's play, um, the two spade opening is kind of constructive. Oh, nope, guess not. Guess not. One, two, three. All right. The only question is whether they make three spades, in which case it's okay.
Well, we got a little lucky in the sense that uh, the diamonds were 5-2. So uh, three spades would, would make on a successful hard guess. Successful spade guess, pardon me. All right, the Polish club. Um, In both majors or both minors? Uh, not zero or two. Um, both. We actually do respond to diamond with um, some, with four or four in the majors, um, we respond to diamond. So basically, with one major, we'll show it sometimes, with, depending on exactly what the shapes are. With, with two majors, we'll start by showing. One heart is two ways. That's either 12 to 14 balanced or uh, strong with hearts or strong balanced. So is that any 12 to 14 balance? So all we know chance with one heart? Uh, without a five card other suit to open. So he's just shown 12 to 14. And we'll see what happens. All I right. The are laughing at your ass. What's that? We know Trumpers are laughing at your auction. Well, the nice thing about our auction is had I been 4-4 four, four in the majors with like an 8 count, I had a way to show that I could have broken the one heart relay bit of no Trump to show 4-4 four, four in the majors. And so then I'd be laughing at the weak no Trumpers who are playing in one now instead of two space. So it has its advantages. Um, our little dance here. Uh, that's a good start for us in spade suit. Um, I feel like um, maybe Espen has like ace fourth of diamonds or something like that. Or I guess ace queen fourth of hearts, some, something where he was hoping to get boy in for a lead through. Ace queen jack fourth of hearts. That's sad. I think Jan's going to go up and play a cl another club. My guess. And if the club queen wins, reverse the spades. Now maybe 
another club has become safe, the nine and the eight already came. So maybe he'll just play a club and let Aston make his own arrangements. I think that's what he's going to do. Why not a diamond? Uh, there's actually, because, you know, why not let the opponents mess up? Right, there's no, no reason to play a diamond. All right, here comes the heart through. Probably as it is, the opponents would have switched to a diamond anyway. I think Jan is going to duck this heart. I don't think it feels like um, from Espen's passive lead, he's probably sitting there with, um, you know, ace-queen, fourth of hearts. If it's ace-queen, jack, fourth, there's nothing to do. So we'll see. Sorry, ace jack fourth. I meant if it's ace queen jack fourth, nothing to do. So um, experts generally don't like leaving from kind of broken four card suits against one no trump. It so often just blows a trick. And when you're defending one no, if there's a chance to beat it, your partner's likely to have plenty of chances to leave your suit for you. So here, the sort of average player from ace queen jack fourth parts, if that is indeed what he had, would probably lead a heart. But uh, not, not something you'll see a world-class player, not kind of holding a world-class player is going to lead from against one Trump generally. Unless all the other holdings are impossible. So here, um, we can see why it probably would have worked better to play a club instead of a diamond from Jan, right? Had he played a diamond, um, had he played a club when um, Espen now played a diamond to Boya, Boya would have had to cash his spade before returning a heart, which was not an obvious play. Otherwise, he'd end up losing the trick. So you know, he would have made another trick that way, almost certainly. I don't think Boyan knew enough that, uh, to cash out at that point. Hearts. And there might be some conservative players that say, oh, vulnerable against not. You've got to balance nine count with a crappy suit. Um, you know, we don't want to overcall a spade. I'm just big at getting in early. Um, if I don't overcall it with a hand like this, I'm going to be sweating for the whole deal. Um, that were kind of uh, cold for two spades or four spades. Uh, 
So I'd rather just overhaul if they occasionally get me for 800 then they get me for 800. But my experience is that it's a long run winner to kind of get in, particularly with the space suit. Of course, it does require a little bit of partnership understanding. Um, partner has to know not to play you for traditional values, shall we say. So um, this redouble shows exactly two spades and competitive plus values. So um, not necessarily 10 points or anything like that. Um, I'm thinking like eight, eight plus with exactly two spades. Um, uh, that we, we use that so that if I have a 10 points with a six card spade suit, I can know to compete the two spades there. Here, obviously, uh, I'm not doing any more bidding on this hand unless forced. All right. It looks like partner has two spades and two hearts, and he has at least five clubs, probably, because he's going to have a good hand and didn't overcall a diamond. He probably doesn't have five diamonds. I think two, two, four, five, two, two, three, six. If it's two, two, three, six, we're probably in the wrong contract. But nothing we can do about that. If he was two, two, three, six with a good hand, might he have? Been able to bid two clubs over the double and then take a preference to two spades later? Wow. Uh, okay, that's a very surprising bid. So, what am I going to do here? Uh, I am going to draw trumps and take a club finesse. The question is is there any reason to? Um, cash one club early. I, uh, let me count my tricks here. I'm gonna not I'm not gonna be able to. I'm gonna have to use three hard tricks. Hmm. Well, all right. So I think my plan is well, certainly my plan is to start with the aces. Here. Question is, do I then uh, now cash the clock? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so let's see here. So obviously, if the club gets roughed, that would be bad. Um, But I feel like the guy would have probably competed in that case. So I think I'm going to cash one club. Just to not pay off the singleton queen. All right. Made three.
So Jan could have shown his own clubs here, although honestly, I mean, we're not, you, right before a tournament, we'd be reading deep into the, deep into the notes. Um, he might not have rem remembered, you know, since we're, we're, we're not, um, you know, getting ready for the tournament that on page 67, it says that uh, his one no trump would be natural showing clubs here. Or, or for that matter, I could be wrong about it. All right, well, it was, we made our one four. it would have been a good match point result. We made 140 instead of our 130 in clubs. So, survived that adventure. All right. So anyway, here, oop, something interesting happened. Nice if they were actually alerted their bids. I'm guessing that two clubs is a relay to two diamonds. So basically what happened here is that North essentially took a preference to do diamonds. All right, well, it looks like a straightforward queen of hearts lead. I can't see any reason to lead anything else, so let's do that. Um, you can see why Boya uh, chose diamonds um, with his two little clubs. So meanwhile, it looks like we've got five tricks in our hand, a you know, happy situation. Um, let's think about the points. Um, if Espen has a weak no trump, give him like 13 points. Dummy is nine is 22. I've got 14 is 36. I'm expecting partner to have you know, around four points. It's probably the most likely thing. Um, we need to get a six trick from somewhere. If it's the king of spades, obviously I don't have to do anything about it. King of clubs, I just need to, we need to take some care that we don't set up a bunch of heart discards, although. Um, See what partners got. Jack of clubs, that's natural discouragement. So I'm going to draw some more trumps. Six of clubs, remainder count, theory. Feels like my partner is the king of spades. I'm trying to figure out if there's any reason. To, if Declare has these five diamonds and four spades, and it looks like maybe, well, Let's hope king and a club and ace and a heart. 
unless my partner is the king of spades, I, I can't really see it. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, all right. Unless my partner is the king of spades, I can't see a six trick. Is there any reason to play a spade as opposed to just exiting with a heart? Well, yeah, if Declare had ace nine doubleton of hearts, he'd be able to um, set up the hearts via a rough and finesse. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to spades, which, and, and the spade switches attitude here. Um, so that'll guarantee the defeat of the contract if uh, Declarer had Jack fourth, ace nine doubleton, ace fifth, king one. Hmm, maybe part of his king jack is spades. Yeah, all right. I can't see any reason not to play a heart now. He's probably going to try to rough the hearts. I'm going to pitch a club here. And now, if my partner has a jack of spades, I'll have the rest. But it's not looking like that. No. So nothing really um, mattered here because my partner had the hearts well held as long as I, as long as we stayed off the clubs. then. I actually have a pretty good hand for this. Um, having not invited in spades, so I'm expecting to uh, make in some comfort, but we'll see. Maybe it'll be a hand for some safety play. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jan was taking a slightly aggressive view here. Um, but I would have accepted a strong invitation anyway. Um, so let's see here. Um, so, um, so what's going on on this hand? Uh, well, first of all, let me count my losers. I've got, um, and I think the dummy is going to be sort of the so-called master hand. It's going to be easy to count losers from the dummy's perspective. I feel the dummy has 
two club losers, although one can fairly easily be roughed. Um, a, probably one diamond loser and one spade. So it looks like this should be straightforward. I'm just thinking that Boya might have opened really light here because the five of hearts looks like a low lead. It could be five, three doubles in or something. And he didn't make a support double after my one spade, which makes me think that he opened with, he has like three card hearts and, um, you know, 10 points or something, a lead directing. Maybe he has like king, queen, 10 fifths of clubs and you know, three little hearts or something. But anyway, for the moment, I can't see any reason not to duck a club on general principles. So one other point about the hearts is if, if North did have five, three doubles, then that would give South Queen Jack 10, six of the hearts. They probably would have bid something in first seat. Um, so yeah, I think, I think Boya has like a 10 count with, with five clubs and three hearts. That's my best bet. Probably king, queen, fifth of clubs. Looks like it's been maybe split with jack, ten, third, something like that. What would two spades show in your style? So two spades for us would actually be kind of a, a competitive hand with five spades. But I could, um, if I cubid one heart, that would show kind of invitational plus with bay. Thanks. Rather obvious heart back, I would say. All right, well, that doesn't look like Queen Third of Spades. So I'm going to go up with the Ace, the Ness and Diamonds. Uh, 
possible. Boy, it is two, two, five, four. It is vaguely possible, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it. I can't squeeze them. My entries are all messed up, so I'll just. There, boring it. Now that's interesting. I'm going to record in my mind, you know, what boy is hand was. I would think that most experts would open three clubs if they opened anything in their chair. Uh, so uh, that's just a good, good piece of information to file away if I have to play against them in the future. One heart show spades. If I doubled, that would show a one heart over all but my hand. Not really uh, worth it. Just forgot. Quite a bit here. This is always hard to know on the internet whether people are thinking or just kind of snoozing. Uh, having snoozed through the five clubs, I can't say that I blame him for snoozing, but uh, there's always that. Yeah, I forgot it was his turn. All right. Looks like Jan is sitting over there with a bunch of clubs. Um, I have the hearts and diamonds well held. So this deal is going to be kind of a, a waiting game, I think. Um, so my plan is to insert the nine of spades if uh, Declara plays low from the dummy and just kind of await development. Dummy only has 12 points, so if Declare has uh, a minimum dive opening, this may well be a struggle for it. And so, um, since they, 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 there's not that much, I don't really believe we can establish any suits. It's just a hand for playing stingy defense, trying to give anything away. So if I'm giving Declare, let's say, 13 points on average for his one or drop rebid, uh, dummy is 12 is 25. I've got five is thir uh, six is uh, 31. The partner rates have around a nine count. And I sort of, I think I need a good bit of them at least to be in um, clubs. Not a great start for us. Yeah, a king fourth of spades. If he had king ten fourth, things would have been a little bit better. Now, what do I take from this diamond play? Well, declare it could have like three little diamonds. Um, and be playing them for tricks. Uh, and so I want to give uh, 
reverse Smith Echo because um, I like spades, obviously. It's not so much here that I'm excited for him to play a spade, but I want him to be able to kind of place the points. So it looked to me like that was a cross to the diamond queen type of play. Um, right, it feels like he has king third of diamonds and some sort of club finesse that he took and Jan probably ducked. Right, because why did he cross otherwise to do it? I'm going to throw out the jack of diamonds just, you know, in, in case Jan is confused. And then I'm going to try. So what do I think is going on here? It looks like Declare has some sort of king, queen, ten, fifth of clubs type of holding, maybe. Um, so that's five points. The king of diamonds is... Um, Eight looks like he has the ace of hearts. If he has a queen of hearts, two, I'm in bad shape. So I'm going to encourage hearts. I want him to play a heart from his queen. There's not room in his hand. I mean, he has the ace and unbelieves it. That's okay. Feels like things are going well here. So Jan might be trying to figure out, I did Smith for spades. He's probably trying to figure out what is going on here. Um, I didn't really know enough about the distribution to know that I wanted a heart from him uh, earlier. He's probably got Four spades and four clubs and two diamonds and three hearts. Good play. So here we're just attacking declarers entries. Yeah. We're not going to get the heart set up in time or something. So it looks like Declare has, well, I guess it just depends on what those clubs are. This way we don't have to be worried about setting up the, the spade setting up. We're just kind of getting started. Killing hands. So if Jan ducks this to me, I'm just going to, I'm not going to cash the diamond. I'm just going to make it, try to make it simple for him to return my heart. So he's going to win and leave the queen of hearts next. And now we're in good shape.
So notice in the comments, Jan saying the one thing he knew for sure was to duck the club queen. Um, I think he means two things by that. Or, or, or it's de derived from two thoughts, right? One thought is, let's force the Claire to use another dummy entry to, to continue playing clubs. Uh, but also, if Jan had taken the ace of clubs at trick three, he wouldn't really have had known what red suit to return. So uh, this way, he kind of got to see a signal from me. That, that's a very strong dummy. I would have considered bidding game with Espen's hand here. Maybe they have multiple ways to super accept or something like that. I'd envision ace, king, fourth, ace, and one. And that in and of itself on a good day with Trump's 2-2, two -two, just those two holdings in the majors are nine tricks. Uh, ace, king, fourth, ace, and one, and as little as jack, ten, third of clubs. It's a Good vulnerable game, just need two two trumps, forty percent, and that's a twelve count. But I would I would definitely have been game with that hand. We'll see. We'll see uh whether I would have been right. Uh, two two trump and no club rough, but you're an optimist. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But that is a twelve count. I mean so that we, yeah, exactly what the odds of opposite that hand are it's not, it's not super important. But just to see that we have play for game opposite some twelve to fourteen. Oh, I, I, I agree with you about bidding more aggressively on this hand. But as you say, we don't know their methods. I mean, I think even if three spades showed a minimum, I would uh, bid multiple games uh, worth a lot of play. All right, what do we think is going on in the hearts? I am thinking that Jan false carded with uh, Jack 10 third because I would have expected that with um, 10 in the heart, he'd probably be a little worried about blowing up the suit. It feels like Jack up there. I could be wrong. I'm guessing based on the fact that boy, I had a minimum and that has been passed that the auction did in fact show a minimum. Um, it was a pretty reasonable game. It just needed the Trumps to come in. And while on the one hand, um, the singleton diamond was kind of a magical holding, the queen of clubs was also worthless. So, uh, feels like an average level of fit overall. Nine drums in shape is just a very powerful combination.
that Jan is making the interesting point um, that, uh, which is true, um, should have talked about this in the comments, that when I, I when I discouraged in, um, in clubs, I played my lowest possible echo, which is discouragement, so there's some uh, diamonds who preference overtone on that, right? If I was really wanting a heart, I could have played jack of clubs, eight of clubs, or something like that. All right, well, anyway. Um, right. I'm going to go with like a little false card here. Um, sometimes occasionally I lead fifth best from from six um, maybe declare our will um, all right reverse Smith I like this do maybe declare our will will fail to hold up um, at the right time something like that um, sometimes you get missed defenses so I just gotta like sprinkle those in from time to time Maybe in the discarding. Um, this upside down attitude. So my plan here, now that I've false carded, is probably to pitch a a diamond here and i'm hoping that declare is so like one one possibility of the way i can get paid off here is let's say declare has king queen of hearts ace of spades left um king queen jack of hearts ace of spades if he thinks that I'm down to only three diamonds, he might play a heart to drive out his uh, ninth trick instead of finessing in spade. So maybe that'd be a way. So I'm trying to kind of show him that my fourth best lead was from five to simulate somebody who has having you know a little bit of a discard problem. So here we had no shot because the player had nine tricks. He was just cashing out and kind of was always going to play his king and say, drop my queen. But if he had had king, queen, jack of hearts there, he would have had to guess that I had a false card um, in order to make the hand. So it was almost the right hand for me. All right, so here... Um, I'm opening a Polish club. One of the stronger hand types that's included in there is 16 plus with clubs. So uh, we did two clubs later if all goes well in order to show that I have that. Now, uh, Jan's probably about to bid something. Um, we play transfers here. So he can redouble to show diamonds, a diamond to show hearts, a heart to show spades, and a spade to show clubs. So he's showing clubs.
what do I want to do? I think I'm going to redouble the show some strong hand here, or I could just make a big raise of club. I think three spades here should be a splinter, but we actually haven't discussed that. So I think I'm just going to redouble and see what happens. So what sort of strength has Jan shown? Um, just enough to respond. So, you know, he's probably, I mean, to show clubs, I guess he has eight plus here. So I'm going to play some sort of game. Um, if he showed a major, that could be a little lighter, right? You know, certainly if he had king, queen, fifth of spades, he'd probably want to get that suit in. But he's favorable also, so he could just be directing a lead. I, Jan's bidding their suit of spades, and they're bidding our suit of clubs. All I don't know whether Jan is going to think that this is forcing or not, um, although uh, if he passes, it's probably right. I'm sort of I'm, I'm at a minimum for 16 plus with clubs, which is my strong range. So if he somehow was taking a liberty, we're probably okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I'm going to just bid one more time to four clubs and let him an out. Maybe he's got the king of spades and the king jack ten fifth of clubs. And Something like that. Feels like it could be, and I've shown a big hand already. Hey! I was almost right. All right. Too bad they made a good lead. I'm going to false card here, and I think probably um, people know that when... Um, when false carding the opponent's attitude signal, declare should signal what they want using the opponent's methods. So I do not want diamonds continued. So I discourage diamonds using the opponent's methods. So that's a high. Um, so that I don't is, think that helps, Chris, if, if your card is lower than their card. Uh, if my, well, no, it, it, so I guess it, dep it depends on the style that the opponents play, right? So it's true that he, so here I'd be aiming at um, eight, nine doubleton, right? Making it look like eight, nine deuce. So like Polish players, I think often signal middle there for the count from three little, in which case this would be an effective false card. Um, but certainly what you're saying, Adam, is not categorically true. Because if Dummy had had nine-third of diamonds, um, then South could have 10 8 third instead of their actual 10 8 double -third, So. There. I'm going to uh, give the opponents credit for not ducking with Bay Ace. Right, so the position, you know, if Dummy had nine third there, the eight could be from ten eight double ten or ten eight third, even though even though their card is higher than mine.
All right. Well, we don't do anything fancy here. So two spades is just spades. We could certainly be pretty wide range there in third seat. Um, the vulnerability um, cuts off the lower end a little bit, but uh, Jan could certainly be sitting there with some 11 counts as well. Uh, just expecting not to make a game opposite a pass partner. So, Maybe the opponents will get the slam. Maybe they'll go down in the game. I, I have no idea. Follow along. So Jan knows now that because I didn't double three spades, I don't have a high spade honor. Um, so I think if he has a broken spade suit, um, there's a decent chance that he'll speculate for the different lead. I'm leading Jack and one heart or something like that here. So what's going on here? Um, so it looks like Jan has, has in fact kind of speculated. Um, I assume that Espen probably showed some values. Let me ask for you. Um, So Jan has short diamonds. Looks like he has three hearts, right? Because boy, I didn't try to get the hearts. Um, so my my momentary thought is six three three one with a single from diamond. So maybe if Jan has decent hearts, we can do some business there. Give Boya the ace of clubs and some spade honor, um, quite likely the queen of spades um, or king jack. But I, I don't think Jan opened on a queen six type of suit. Feels like Jan has like king jack nine six the spades and Boya has queen third. So maybe jack ten fourth the diamonds, queen third of spades and the ace of, ace, ace of clubs um, plus a hard honor with queen of hearts. Something like that would be just enough for a constructive three diamonds and uh, declare does not guess to block the hearts. I can maybe get three hearts and two diamonds before Declare has. Well, actually, that would be Declare would only have eight tricks anyway. You have three diamonds, three clubs, and two aces. Any, any pitfalls for me? Some chance of partner getting in played? I can't, no, I don't think so. Should be OK. Uh, Hey, 
Chris, it looks like your opponent asked you a question. No, oh, I asked them a question. All right, I don't see any reason to duck. Here we go. Might as well hold up the now and diamonds just on general principles. Now, if my partner has King Jack third of hearts, they can get the hearts cashed off. I'm just getting my, not my partner. Uh, All right, well, the good news is we defended as best we could after the opening lead. The bad news is um, they've got All right, that was it. Not the most exciting set of boards, but uh, hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah, thank you, Chris. That was great. Very interesting. <laughs>